make an app feature and use Replit as a uh, as your go to tool. So in this series, what we were going to do is we are going to do uh, how you can use an AI better into your life as a product manager. So let's quickly dive into it. What we want to make. So we want to make a financial. Uh, apps onboarding which is just focused on the woman uh, now we have observed as a product manager what is the problem statement we got is that we observed that many people are just dropping out in the onboarding so we want to give a good onboarding experience to our users for that we are going to develop an app so now let's see how this journey will looks like so this is a onboarding page like your wellness uh, financial wellness start here. This is the uh, user persona, the profile you will get. Then this is a set your financial goals Then data privacy. See, this has three languages. So just the data with the Hindi and this button of how to set up and all. And finally, this dashboard. Now, in, if you are a regular PM, and do not have an AI wizard, then how do you do it? You will gather the designer, you will gather the developer to make this dashboard, right? But we will make this dashboard without a designer, without a developer, with just a one prompt using a replic. Let's see what that prompt is. So the prompt is build a financial wellness onboarding app in React and Tailwind. React, all of you know, is made to find end. Tailwind is a CSS library. Now we are telling the app should have a clean, culturally relevant UI to follow this onboarding process. Then we are mentioning the process to be very, very specific. Welcome screen with a single get started button, user profile, user friendly labels of a goal selection, usual you, uh, show visuals, Options including uh, saving for children's education, building an emergency fund, buying goals, starting a very allow user to select multiple goals, then language interest, data privacy, and then we are telling that add a toggle of a language. I have specified three languages. You can specify more. Then uh, design should be clear, accessible, responsive. Use state management because we are not. It is a prototype. We are not connected to a DB. So I asked it. Do not connect to the DB, give me a state management, then an animation. So now you can take the screenshot of this prompt. So now with this one prompt, like you used to write a PRD for making such a feature, with this prompt, let's see how you are able to make an app. Let's quickly jump into the demo. So as discussed, we are going to put a prompt. So I have written this prompt before, but let me tell you why, what it is. So for how I written the prompt should be very, very specific. Like what I have written is build a financial wellness onboarding app, React plus Tailwind. The Tailwind is the CSS uh, kind of library. That should have clean cultural relevant UI following on the day flow. So what it is, welcome screen with a message and a single get started button. User profile asking for what age, what monthly bracket it is, then goal selection showing the options of like saving for child education, building emergency fund, buying goals, starting SIT, and all. Then uh, this is the options. Now, in the language, because it might be in the English, we are giving the language and the design we have given the design should be accessible and responsive. User we don't require the DB right now and use state management for using and no back included just for the data locally. Include loud load animation using frame motion use tail rounding for the friendly UI. So you can see my prompt is very, very specific what I want. And I just click on create app. Let's see what it does. Now it start thinking, the agent is thinking. Things and give us the plan just like uh, plan for what it does include. What do you like to additional feature? Add personalization recommendation, implement dashboard view after onboarding, create download label file, add animations. So let's say we will choose add animations and implement dashboard view after onboarding. 
because we are not making a full app, we are just making the onboarding flow for our client app to show the prototype. Let's add implement dash boot view after onboarding and add the animation for goal selection. Now we can just improve the plan and let it do its work. So it's sad. This is a canvas. It is designing an app. So you can see it is designing an app. An app will look like something like this. This is right now not working. It is uh, agent is making a full interactive version. This is just a prototype, bringing the message. And if I just get this down, I can see the kind of agent working in the progress about the app. Now you can see agents start installing dependency to make the app more attractive interactive and create all the files like a folder which uh coder like to make all those rc files so now i just complete it now it took the screenshot this is an app let's see okay well, it is showing the all journey let's go to previous yeah so this is an app let's fill the data get started let the saga, yeah, I'll just pre fill it so it is showing up. Let's say children's education, I'll select the all. It is asking me a data privacy. I can switch to Hindi, I can switch to Tamil, any language I can switch. I prefer Hindi, complete search type, and go to the dashboard. So that's it. Like that's kind of dashboard we have made. So all of this has been made by a single prompt and now we can come up this to our main app after this prototype. So yes, like Replit, we can easily make an app like this just by using a prompt. If we want more uh, of it, we can just give a prompt and apply. Let's say, we will say create a dummy dashboard. Let's try it. The dummy dashboard and click on go to dashboard button, we can show that. So let's see what does it do. So you can see it created all and it, when I click on the dashboard, it takes me to this place. So come set up completed, click on the dashboard so I can see my dashboard. So yeah, on this one, two, three prompts, I can able to get this working prototype, which is absolutely free and can be used by a product team. So I hope you like this demo.